Hi everyone. Today I am changing the track, uh, the steering rod end of my Citroen C3. So there is a nut that you have to undo here, a nut here, and then it comes off. But the way you do it, so it's now loosened. But once you have used your socket uh, to undo this, you have to apply a slight pressure at the bottom. So it keeps the bolt engaged and then you undo the knot. And before you take this completely off, you have to use a, uh, I believe, 22 millimeter spanner to loosen the knot on that side. You can see this is already loose. Uh, sometimes you have to use hammer to so you place the uh, the your tool here and then you hammer on this end if it's too uh, tight but it's already loosened so and I'm I'm keeping it where it is so I've loosened it but but I'm keeping it back where it was the reason is this is adjustable and the adjustment has to be the alignment has to be the same otherwise uh, you, one of your wheels will point the other way. So, let's now try and see. Okay. So once you've... Uh, so now I have got two hands I can show you. It's recording. Yeah. Um, so... Now, so I've placed the tool here, so I'm going to tap it, you see, if it's too tight, you can just tap it and it will open. So I'm putting it back. Uh, the other thing that you need to do is to loosen the bolt. So again, you can put it back here and put the knot back and so it holds the other end. Then you can use your grip plier or your, I think, number 13 or 14 scanner. Then you go that way. So this is already loose. So now let's, let's start by taking it off. So you simply turn it loose and it comes off. Right now, the new one. So, we have to make sure they're exactly the same size, which is true here. So, I'm just going to screw it back. So, as you can see, this knot determines where this stops and also keeps it from turning on. Uh, necessarily oh you see now it's turned a little bit uh, so what do I do I think yeah that's enough I mean we can do an alignment anytime so I will check if the wheels or not that's the best way you can ensure that it's aligned you can't always get it perfect usually you should need an alignment you should do an alignment every time you change suspension okay Perfect. Oh, this seventeen. Okay. I need seventeen on here. Just 
you see I'm pushing it up so the bolt is engaged then I'm simply tightening it tightening it let's check again seems to be working yeah it's fully engaged now so There are a standard um, torques you can go by, but I just go by how I feel. So it's pulled it in. I think it's enough. Yes. Um, is it still pulling it in? Okay, now it's enough. Oh my god, now we need to twist this is stuck here. Okay, what I can do, I can go back and forth. Yeah, there you go. Yes. So this side is done. Now I need to tighten this bolt back to where it was. So that's it. So as you see, I'm giving it a few taps with the hammer to make sure it's tight enough okay we are done thank you for watching <clears throat>